वेलकम टू दिस एपिसोड ऑफ द हरप्रीत सिंह शो अज के सैगमेंट में अभी मुलाकात करवाओगे कार्निवल कल्चरल क्लब तो आए हुए साढ़े दो मेहमान के नाल शौना और कर्स्टन इन्हों वालों चौदह फरवरी को एक कार्निवल का आयोजन किया जा रहा है इसी संबंध में कार्निवल में की होएगा तो कि लोग उत्थे आ के इसका आनंद लैसते हैं और इस बारे कुछ गलबात करते हैं आए हुए मेहमान के नाम वेलकम टू द प्रोग्राम थैंक यू थैंक यू सो स्टार्ट ऑफ विद यू कुड यू टेल अस लिटल बिट अबाउट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ दिस कार्निवल वट इज़ द हिस्ट्री ऑफ दिस कार्निवल So the carnival actually started in 1995 in Vancouver. My grandma, she fathered it in from traditions they used to have in Goa. Mhm. Mm so it's always held on the Saturday before um Ash Wednesday, which is the beginning of Lent. Okay. Yeah. As the Goan community is Catholic and celebrates Lent, so it's supposed to be the uh, last big celebration before we we're meant to abstain. Mhm. Mm oh that's wonderful. And when we talk about the history of uh, carnivals in Goa, could you take us back into that history? Uh, what was the reason for starting these celebrations and how this uh, tradition is continuing? Uh Goa was under the Portuguese right up to 1960. Mm -hmm. So it has a lot of western influence and um that's how the carnival started because these th they were really 3 days of of enjoyment, merriment, drinking, eating. and all that before ash wednesday which leads up to uh, lent uh, starts lent and that's the season when we fast and we pray mm -hmm. till we reach up to easter sunday okay so um, that's where it originally started and uh, when we came to vancouver my mother mrs nazrith martha nazrith she was the one who um, decided that we'll have it here in vancouver mm -hmm. and uh, we did start in a very small hall in richmond with a few people the few goans that are here in vancouver and today it has built up to um, the last carnival which we have biannually uh, 590 people wow. and it's right here in surrey this weekend um, on the february 14th from mm -hmm. 3 pm that's wonderful so uh, tell us in this carnival uh, what happens is just uh, uh, just uh, enjoy drink and be merry or there are some other uh, well, you know pr traditional performances also well we start uh, the the event starts at 3 mm -hmm. and then the first thing we do is we have a big uh, parade entrance and celebration kind of to mimic the mardi gras mardi gras floats okay and then it's at the end of the parade is the entrance of king momo who mm -hmm. he is the main character right. and he declares the carnival open from that point onwards it's just really trying to make a really fun event and create this kind of community closeness right so uh, there are going to be floats also in this so yeah. what kind of floats because we know about the carnivals what we used to see in india and especially mm -hmm. from goa uh, are those replicas uh, can be seen here also or are they different here uh, it just depends on the group they all everyone they choose to do their own things we don't want to limit people by our themes we want people to really be creative and should be able to show their talents mm -hmm. so again if you could just tell our viewers as to what all can they expect in this carnival previous floats like uh, uh, previous floats we've had a uh, jungle book we've had greece mm -hmm. um we've had charlie chaplin theme floats elvis theme floats right uh flintstones okay it really is a wide array of things wonderful what about food because goan food is also known uh do we expect uh, the delicacies what we can have in goa well, to be we, found here we always uh, of course the the royal king palace gives us a scrumptious buffet mm -hmm. but uh, we always add one goan dish to it like right. sorpatel or pork vindalo which is a typical traditional festive goan food okay and uh, apart from that uh, the enjoying and talking and me uh, meeting each other uh, do communities from uh, people from other communities also come Yes, mm -hmm. yes, we have a lot of people from other communities as well. Right. Because even among the float uh, participants, mm -hmm. uh, people individually find people from other communities, and everybody joins in. And then, of course, the spectators or the guests who are who attend the event, they too are very, very. diverse in in that's a wonderful thing that's what we stand for integration and people from different communities come together enjoy and uh, celebrate that's wonderful and finally if anybody wants to call you where can they call you to have some more information about this program yes they could uh, they could call me if they need tickets my name is shona my number is uh, 778 995 9567 
wonderful and, uh, genre. tickets are still available we can okay. still give you some tickets okay wonderful thank you and best wishes thank, thank you, you.